Alright, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? <clears throat> I'm back. Um, first, I want to thank Olaf for resubbing yesterday. That was the sub that didn't appear. So, thanks a lot, Olaf. Olaf also uh, very kindly reorganized the spreadsheet. So, it is now actually in order of matchup frequency. So I was, I've just been looking at this a little bit, kind of interesting. Um, the things that I want <laughs> to fix are Valora Delver, after testing it, uh, it's evidently not, not this bad considering I won five matches in a row. Um, or maybe I lost one, but it was not super close. Uh, and I'd like to stop losing to Maverick. <laughs> And goblins, the old 06 in the mirror. Um, yeah. Oh, also, uh, Ye Yazuya, thank you for the follow. Um, so, yesterday we went 3 2 with this list. I think I'm going to run it back. This list felt pretty good, actually. Um, we just had some unfortunate trolls against Jund, and then, you know, Doomsday is probably a pretty bad matchup. Um, sorry, my fans seem to want to kick in immediately. Let's see if I can turn the mic down and uh, get it to chill out. Alright, <clears throat> let's hop in the league here. See what happens. Let's see what the legacy meta has to throw at us. I haven't played yet today, so. Strife is getting some trophies. Landing with 36 trophies is ridiculous. Yo, Ken! Thanks for the five-month resub. That is that is so awesome. That is so awesome, honestly. Thank you so much. Lackey hype. I mean, like, uh, the support is so great, um, really warms, warms my little goblin heart. Okay, I'm gonna draw. Is the game log uh, still fucked up still? It seems it is. About to bite the bullet in the black splash. Yeah, Badlands, not, not the easiest things to get. Cheesehead, <laughs> thanks for the follow. <laughs> okay, mulligan to six. I will also mulligan to six. It's probably be keepable in the play on the draw. Much better. I bought on the war chief here. I could also bought on the jump home, but I don't think I want to do that. <laughs> you got a promotion at work and a sugar mama. Well, then you're just you're just living your best life. Strongly recommend you marry someone who makes more money than you. A plus idea. You know? I think you're onto something. I think you might be onto something. So what does Verdant Catacombs go mean? Playing oh, depths, right? <laughs> Gotta be. Um I think I lead on Lackey then. Let's see if I'm dead next turn. Make a 
could theoretically kill me. Crop rot, herborg, play depth, sex mage. I like that's gonna happen to me, isn't it? Oh, what? Excuse me? What? Huh? This is just black red, but they light on a weird, weird patch. <sighs> Or is this the fucking herp derpy? Uh, Death's reanimator. Tin fin steps. Great, great. Just what I wanted to see. Oh, I'm super dead. Crystal Branson play. I'm super dead. That's that's how the game works. Yeah, this is basically everything I hate about Legacy in a single archetype. <laughs> uh huh. Black Lotus. Young Let's Bargain, but better. Uh, okay. Another ch child. This is got it's a good flavor text. Dark Rachel. Dark Rachel. Exum. What do you mean you, they're not playing it correctly? What what could they possibly? What else could they possibly be doing? I hope they deck themselves. <laughs> yeah. Turn to Grizzlebrand. We super fun. It's green mana. What for? Oh, the pet loving wish. So this ice station zebra, is that what this, this, this bullshit's called? Lab maniac, okay. All right, entire sideboard, get in here. Mm, I guess red's not. Now we don't know about depths for sure, but we can needle child or crystal brand. So even though I normally don't think that's very effective. <sighs> no trash dark I'm like trash <laughs> friend. Uh, stronghold, not the matchup for you. Definitely has depths. Great. Um, I'm going to shave an Ether Vial. I kind of want all these other cards. <sighs> Sam doesn't do anything. Sam is a surgical. And a Grenzo. All right. Uh... Hmm. Put back land or warchief or vile. This is retro. Dumping a land. I guess that makes sense.
Cervex, thank you for the follow. No, god damn it. Draw Tormod script. Tormod script. Tormod script. Tormod script. Fuck. Yeah, this is why I didn't want to dump a land, because I'm going to draw a bunch of three drops and that's it. Grenzo, save me. Seems bad. Turn to Grizzle Brand with the Thoughtsies. <sighs> Just what, what a stupid deck. What a stupid fucking deck. Ah! That's Ice Station Zebra. Fucking stupid deck name. Good start, guys. Thanks, Solnox. Yeah, they had Living Wish. Thanks for shitting on them for their trash deck. No, no, I don't know. I don't think Caracas would have mattered at all. I mean, what the fuck are you gonna sideboard against me? Like, come on. Is this the Goblins General Songhox is a Goblins player too? Now he is. He's been converted. Um <sighs> It's a strong keep right there, buddy. Is it? Is it though? Lose to Force of Will, Daze, Spell Pierce, Thoughts Ease, like anything in the format. No. Okay. Basically the same hand, but better. I like that you're tanking on this. <laughs> um, I guess I just throw back the Chain Whirler. I can throw back the War Marshal. Maybe the Grunz. Pitch Falcon and Chains. I'm actually going to pitch Grunzo because this War Marshal is enabled, or this Prospector through War Marshal enables a fast Chain Whirler if I need it. But it also goes to six. Oh, great. Yep, 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 yep. yep. I should just quit. I should just quit magic. <laughs> Shouldn't have pitched the Grenzo. What the fuck? Is this Nick Fit? I'll take Nick Fit. <laughs> it's Ice Station again. I'll quit my life. It is Nick Fit. Fit. Um, 
Porting seems good. Oh boy. Look who's getting chain whirlered. Um can you play play this sack sack. I have to sack a prospector. Um I think I'm okay with that. Wait no. Yeah. Uh, no, I'm thinking um, in order to chain whirler them this turn and also port them. That's what I'm calculating for. I still don't want them to play Explorer. With a land in hand, I, I feel fine doing this. Nice green mana. Got a two turn clock here. What? Excuse me? deck collective brutality huh I think I still port this could get punished no punish Nice. Rashad and Port for the win. All right, so. This is the only matchup I cut Vader Viles. Um, Sting Scrooge is not the worst. Um, yep, I think this is good. Two pieces, three pieces of gray paint. I don't know if they're uh, on the eight Rector version where they're playing Arena Rector as well. This hand's fine. There he is. So chances are I'm getting Cabal Therapy this turn, but... Oh. 
Okay. Um, hmm. This is strange. No. Oh, I was probably gonna get tower. I get rector. Hmm. Squad is potentially really good. I think I play Grenzo here. And I do not attack. I think I attack next turn. Yikes. Big yikes. Surgical, please. I can squad the rector payoffs now. Get four mana. Maybe do something stupid with this Grenzo. Let's do that. All right, I'm only playing three mountains. I forgot about that. With guns, I hit nothing. Wait, why didn't I get a Grenzo trigger? Was it this? Oh, I got the one-stop teeth. It's one one stop teeth, I guess. Okay. Um, so they are playing the mini rectors. So we play Take Omniscience, Splendor, Curse, Technical Balls. They have an Arena Rector in hand. I need to take Balls. Do I need to take Omni? Uh, I feel priced into that with a, uh, when they're a Living Wish deck. Oh, they also have Ugin. Does Curse really matter, though? I can totally beat Curse. Uh, hmm. No, no, no. If if uh, maybe I do leave omniscience, but then I take the two payoff walkers because they have an arena rector in hand. So if they get omniscience in play, they just uh, play arena rector. Sack it somehow, I guess. Um, I 
guess I take Bolas Ugin. Um, I guess I'll play this. Leave me for the token after they pop the deed. I do wish I had a third man. I would definitely make sure in that turn. Yeah. Huh? So you can get omniscience with this. That's about it. I have three mana open. But if they pop the deed now, then uh, they're not getting a trigger. I could like Kiki copy squad, <laughs> getting for a bunch. All right, see, see a column. Um. Hmm. Interesting spot. And my brain doesn't want to process what's going on. So they're out of Planeswalkers, so they have a card in hand that doesn't matter. They can get Omniscience, but that probably doesn't matter. Really wish I had a fourth mountain. I think I could, this is actually a fine opportunity to sting a scourger. Your earwig. <laughs> okay. Hmm. So I got this five drop. Chief Lackey. The Rector deck's good, they don't seem good. They don't seem great, no. No, they do not. I just Kiki and set up the kill next turn. Hey, freak. They do not seem to have a way to kill the Rector at the moment. Hmm, bummer. Man, really getting punished for not playing Four Mountains today. I almost always do. Play the deed, another deed. Okay, so that doesn't do anything. So this gets omniscience or curse. Um, yeah, if we got to trigger it again, that'd be pretty sick. Let's 
to Pakistan. Maybe playing this a little too slowly. This draw curse. Wait, they just play two Ugans? What the hell? <laughs> what? <laughs> Excuse me? Did they just hard cast Ugin on me? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> they played two? Omniscience? Sure. Or curse, probably. No? That doesn't matter. Wow, they just drew? They just drew all this? Are you kidding me? <laughs> they drew Ugin, Cruel Reality, Curse? Uh... Oh. Can answer Zugan. <laughs> this we still might win here. So I take five. Land? Lackey. Doesn't do anything. Unfortunately. Um focus on TBD. Jury's out. All right, so lose my duder. Ooh. Ooh. War chief. Or probably. Yeah, Crater Maker. <laughs> Jod, you are such a troll. Uh, I guess I just jump on this now, getting damage. Got a thing opponent? Didn't think so. You have omniscience in play. You do not need to tap your lands. Okay. I have a card that doesn't do anything. Sack Crater Maker. Okay. Master, please. Oh, fanatic. Um, kill this thing. I like a pile driver. It's a little scary. Pile driver. Cavern, I'll take it. I already played a land. Whoops. Okay. 
No living wish for Emrakul, please. Next turn, I can kill them with Stronghold back, Matron, get File Driver. <laughs> Bona Punisher not playing the third you again. <laughs> I Stronghold back, Crater Baker. Tally. Um, I have a ringleader in hand. So I'll just do that. Yeah. Ooh, more chief, nice. Okay. Power driver, please. Thank you. You dead? <laughs> Living Wish one time? No. They surely would have cast Living Wish last turn. Okay, they're dead. We did it. board state. Look at this board state I'm winning in. <laughs> they hard cast Oog in this game. <laughs> oh man. What's in their graveyard? Uh, everything? Goblin's best deck. Yeah, we we be so we squatted Ugin, Nickel Bolas, and the humility card. We beat Hardcast Ugin. God, Solnox. Sucks. And it's playable. Because Solnox always plays depths. <laughs> but he's very good at it. Turn too slow on this uh, chain whirler. Oh, maybe not. Uh...
give it a shot. It's looking pretty good. What's he got here? Okay. So I didn't jump home there in case of a second crop rotation. Hey, Mark. So we're going to upkeep, jump kill to jump home this thing, I think. Maybe not. All right, now I'm going to do it. Okay. Okay. Still undecided if I want these therapies. Um, all right, ringleader, get out of here. <sighs> Chain whirler is great. Stronghold can come out. War marshal. Still have much to. Oh no, I want the distance one. Still have much to sideboard. Therapy's not bad though. Don't know what I want though. Or like want to cut. I'm just gonna try it like this. I think I'll bring the pet therapies in on the play. I don't know, maybe not. Nah. I don't know. I've had them be good in the past. You know, sometimes you just hit hex mage and oh this this hand's pretty good. <laughs> Level Wasteland hand's pretty strong. I do consider this to be one of our worst matchups in the format. Herb or Go. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> ah. mm -hmm. Yeah, one of Grenzo. Uh, man, do I do it again? <laughs> do I do it again? Because otherwise I have to go to the wasteland pass. Because because then he could just. If I go wasteland pass, then he can't just kill me. But then he can also just play the hex mage, and then a crop rotation beats me. And I'm not set up to beat him before that. I think I need to do this again.
Yeah, I have two. I have two war marshals. Fuck. <laughs> oh man. All right. Uh. You guys know what time it is? Clock is ticking. My head is garbage. <laughs> it's Grenzo time. Crap rotation. Damn. Uh, pile driver. That was rude. <laughs> oh yeah, that was actually good for me to hit. <laughs> Ow, oh, yes. Yes, I told you the waste double orb work always works. <laughs> Grenzo wins. Oh my god. Oh, yeah. Grenzo wins. Exile your lands. Grenzo the lands thief. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, I can't get over that. <laughs> oh. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Why the player draw? Should have went to six. <laughs> GG's man. I went to five. Uh, maybe. F five beating a double wasteland draw for me is tough though. Was I on the draw or play? I don't know. Kept Urborg, Urborg. Did you drew wasted so you could have stolen that wasteland after attack? No, you can't steal lands with Grenzo. I was digging for a crop rotation or a Sylvan safe safekeeper uh, with the Grenzo. That's what I wanted. Bottom step. Kept river waste stage casualty. Wow, your hand worst was wait was your hand was way worse than I uh Uh, acted as if it was, you know, like I, I had double lackey or no, I had lackey vial, pile driver, Grenzo, waste, wait, waste, waste, vial. I drew the lackey, waste, waste, vial, skirk, Grenzo, mm, badlands, pile driver. I think that was my seven. Hey. Hey man, you've beaten me like how many times? I played against you. I played against you three times, and I've lost both uh, two out two out of three. So don't don't trash talk. Don't trash talk, Soldox. He's a, he's a friend of the stream, even though he plays a, a evil deck. <laughs> And Grenzo exiling the green source off the top is hilarious. Yeah, don't. No, no, no. No, no, no. Unacceptable. Stop it. Solnox is, is, is a, a Goblins player now, too. He's, he's, he's Mog War Marshal. He, he loves Mog War Marshal. What's, what's, a, what's a better. What's a better sign of a goblins player than someone who loves Mog War Marshal? I actually don't remember. Was I in the player draw? Sonics, do you remember? No, I was, I was on the play. I was on the play. Draw again. Alright, we're 
two one. Sand sucks. <sighs> Yeah. I'll keep this on the play. Oh, sneep. Sneep. What do I throw back here? Probably ringleader. I've got a couple turns to draw a ringleader. I've got some interactive creatures along the way. Uh. I want all these other cards. The, the new mole, in terms of gameplay, is very good for goblins. But uh, in terms of meta, it could be awful. We will see. I do really enjoy what it, like the decisions that lets me have, though. Ugh. Don't be storm. Play fucking pitiful strix. Do it. Maybe should have. Oh, it's Shadow. Okay. Playing for Dredge right now. Rough. I do kind of wish I led on Wasteland. Double Wasteland this turn would be pretty gross. So it's possible me bottoming that ringleader just makes me never do anything, but we'll see. Play Delver. Damn. That's a good draw. Get out of here. Finish opponent with Chain Roller. Watery Grave, trying to get me with that move. Nice tempo deck opponent. <laughs> Turn three has done nothing. But you didn't see this one coming, huh? You thought it was a Goblin Lackey. Didn't expect the powerful Mog Fanatic. Uh, yeah. Firebrand's a better aggro creature, but that's not what Fanatic's here for. They're there's enough reasons why you where you want to like instant speed uh like you want to be attacking and you also want to hold up this ability so that would come up for dredge infect uh dnt because of mother runes a lot of reasons Yeah, Firebrand taps. Yeah. It is not just strictly better Mog Fanatic. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Four watery graves, huh? Maybe they're playing they're probably playing a uh, Gurmag. No, no. Four four shadow, huh? Do wish my I had that ringleader now. Let's just draw matron. So unfortunately, because of the way shadow works, I can't you know like sack my board to kill it. Hey. Um. Hmm. Let's pass. We're gonna ride this matron ringleader chain out. I did ask to draw Matron, and it worked. Thoughts he's bummer. Uh, <laughs> I call a shot. Maybe should have put in the Matron, grab Ringleader, and then they are forced to take that. I have an extra body on board. Um, that's a maybe. That's a big maybe. I 
but I'd rather have an extra ringleader in my deck. So I do only have three in the main. Yep. I could have gone like Matron from Mog War Marshal last turn, to be honest. We'll put this in. You can cast three drops, so. Alright, so that thought seize was a little bit of a bummer. That's okay. Fine hidden their land drops. Pretty good for Shadow. Wasted them twice and just didn't do anything. Not really. The good thing I can hit him to two. I guess that's kind of close. But they definitely have removal spells if they haven't been doing anything for this long, so definitely won't do that. The staring game. I like the staring game. The staring game's really good for me. I don't think this jump home is going to kill this thing ever, so. So I can like bait something. Just bait a removal spell out. Hello. Hello, matron. Uh, could get geeky jeeky. It's a little risky. Ooh. Oh, I should have tapped the other mountain. Um, still pass. I guess I sh maybe should do this now in case of uh, um, I hit like a lackey or something. Yeah. Or like a fanatic. I'm fine with them dazing this. Okay. No. Oh, uh, yeah, no Siege Gang Commander. Yeah, I'm trying out Kiki over Siege Gang. At the moment. Yep. <laughs> yep. Welcome to the matchup. <laughs> Hello, Lamarupe. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, <laughs> that was funny. Just play a shadow, do nothing. <laughs> Their hand must have been so bad. Um, that's what happens to a moment ago. I'm not playing Rapture Team or Battle Rage. Yeah. Yeah, without a way to give Shadow Trample, Shadow's pretty atrocious against gods. Um, so we sideboard pretty lightly for this matchup. Shave a Chain Whirler. Um, Shave a Fanatic. Thorn can be annoying for them, but probably not worth it. Uh, Trashmaster helps out because they don't play a lot of removal and they do play a bunch of minus one, minus one effects. So kind of want to keep him. Squad's pretty good because they can't kill it, but kind of mediocre otherwise. Maybe cut out in the draw. It's kind of hard to attack sometimes. Reb, it's just generically helpful. 
I sometimes bring in Pithy Needle just for Liliana. I like Ratchet Bomb. More than anything, though, you need bodies. Having bodies on board is the most important part of this matchup. Well, like a lot. Those hands are pretty good. Um. I can only play one finisher. Um, I think for curved reasons. And I like Kiki in a more combo heavy metagame. Kiki's uh, the best when you're facing a lot of combo. Because then you can do some really stupid stuff with uh, your creatures when you're really low on resources. And I've also, I'm also main decking a Caracas. Uh, and that protects both Grenzo and Kiki. There's a picture on Twitter of me against Shadow, and I had Vile on 5 and a Kiki Cheeky and a Crocus in play. And, uh, let's see, yeah. And I uh, attacked for 45 off of one Pile Driver and one Warchief just by copying, bouncing, putting it back into play. <laughs> it was pretty ridiculous. Each pile driver swung for 13, and I made three of them. I wonder what they take here. Probably Matron. I've seen fewer and fewer Delvers out of Shadow. I wonder if they don't really play Delver anymore. I know some people are off Delver. Um, yeah, I mean, that that was definitely a, uh, a niche circumstance. Um, I kind of want to wasteland them since I drew a land. Hey, what's up? You can come by for Walmart for some more stuff. Okay. For giveaways. Alright. You need anything? Nope. Thank you. Opponent scoops? No? Okay. They're still playing. Ooh, lackey. That should be your new challenge. What? Trying to play while I make stupid. <laughs> Let's see if they force a script prospector. They don't. Neat. <laughs> Wasteland wins. Yay. All right, we're three and one. Let's see if we can get the four one. Play against some random chalice deck. Is this dark in here or something? No, it's fine. Okay. Give me the light. Um, could you open the blinds a little bit? I think so. Not that it's much lighter outside. Yeah, just a little bit. That's good. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So, to explain Kiki a bit more, it's Kiki's pretty strong when you are expecting stuff like uh, Sneak and Show, where you want a matron for a matron. You want to have access to a matron at basically all times. So matron put in Kiki with Lackey is like really useful. Yeah, that's what I've been seeing, John. They're getting grindier. All right.
Not on the play. Sand is good. Focus in, you're, you're a more confident man than I. Pun keeps seven. Neither of our resolves, okay. Delta, that's not a chalice deck. Please don't be Storm. We could theoretically be a slow Storm draw if we draw a third land for squad. <laughs> what could go wrong is we play against Ice, Sta Ice Station Zebra for a second time. <laughs> if they take squad, I'm assuming they're storm. <laughs> Please be mono I stations really. I would fucking die. I would I would be so upset. We've already had leagues where I played against five combo decks. I recall you were there for those. <laughs> it's just like Omni Wish. Or uh, yeah, Omni Wish, Sneaked Show, Blackguard Grandmare, Blackguard Grandmare took Pile Driver. Huh. I'm not sure what that says. Port. Could be Grixis Control, I guess. Come on, land. Any land. Any land. That was the worst draw possible. Oh, man, that's such a bummer. I'm so sad now. Brainstorm. Blue black reanimator. I guess squad wouldn't have done anything, so. Yeah, maybe not. <laughs> No exhum. No exhum. No, stop it. Stop it. No exhum. Stop. Okay, that's technically complied. Huh. Okay, let's draw Pile Driver. Or better yet, Matron for Pile Driver. Fuck you, land. It's gonna hold this land, pretend I have something. God, squad would be in play. It would have taken five this turn. Like a Leovold now, Liliana. Great. Great! Just what I needed. Uh, yeah, we're gonna hit Lily. Any Goblin? Any Goblin? Bueller? 
Thought sees me. Angler? What the fuck are they playing? <laughs> what is happening? <sighs> Perfect timing deck. Bug cards I own, yeah. God, we had not missed our land drop. Or if a uh, squad didn't get hit. Such a better position. Hit Lily down to one. And before Snapcaster, or they don't have two blue sources. <sighs> Fucking kill me. I'm just gonna play this so I don't get hemmed. Deck. Ringleader. More matron. It's none of those things. Is this like reanimator trying to not be bad against leyline? Prospector's basically ringleader, yeah. Alright. Chain Whirler, please. I'm gonna draw Kiki Jiki. Got one turn left. These are the only war chiefs in my deck. Been in this situation before. R ringleader. Maybe two crystals. All right. Uh, we can technically hit Liliana. Attack with these two. Right, and then. So I, I have to block no matter what, so. I'm sure they have another decay, though. Oh, they they could have killed me last turn if they had to decay.
All right, opponent confirmed bad. All right, I have no outs here, right? They're gonna ult Lily. They're gonna lethal on board. Maybe they'll be greedy and plus again. Okay, I'm done. Opponent's playing some like, I don't know, something deck. These all seem good. Uh, maybe I don't want therapies. We'll see. Um, I like that how they entombed and literally never touched their Grizzlebrand. Um, Crater Maker seems particularly poor. Yeah, I don't want to oversight, right? So maybe someone did get the memo about death right being banned. All right, see. <laughs> Trash master seems bad. think yeah but like the reanimate package is what I have to care about the most I guess I could just do this Side me six. How's that look? Crypt is worse than surgical against the him deck? Because they're also playing decay and trophy. But I think crypt is better because of uh Angler. This seems fine to me. I do kind of like the, the therapies though, but I don't know what to cut. They're playing him and Thoughtseize. Reb hits Strix, Cantrips. They're playing, I'm, I'd bet money they're playing Snapcaster. All right, I just gotta make a decision. This hand. This hand clocks reasonably well, but it's not a one drop. Three squad and spell. Is that even that good though? I think it's a mulligan. Oh, yeah. Oh my god, so much better. Uh, what about bottom? Probably second lackey. We saw the decay and trophy, so they might not have push. Just like fetch, ponder. Do that, please. I like thought sees me. I'd be fine with thought sees me.
I think maybe two revs is too many. Island deal. Yeah, ribs counter cantrips. They did not shuffle. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. I think I'm playing Warchief here. Since I let on island, maybe I could have matroned there. I'm not sure. Hey, what do you guys think of matroning now? I like matron now. Kiki. So they have deluge. That kind of sucks. But unless if they don't have it specifically this turn, we are fine. And they're dead next turn. I keep him to Grizzlebrand. EOT, Matron up, Sting Scourger. <sighs> yep, target Matron with Kiki. Yep. I just wait until they're in step so the token sticks around for my attack phase. I get an extra turn that way. If their plan is to play Gurmag Angler, I can just jump on it. I think Toxic Deluge is the worst thing for me. Marsh Casualties would also be annoying, but then I just Kiki... No, no, Marsh Casualties doesn't matter at all. Because then I just copy Matron in response, get Pile Driver, and then I'll have a double Pile Driver turn. No Deluge plays. I'll do it. Play some bullshit I don't care about. Deal. That counts. Grab the pile driver. Force Pitch Strix. Are they still dead? Uh, four, five, six, seven. Not quite. Yeah, yeah, the hymn was like good for me. Grab ringleader here, gives me more options for next turn. Now they're at six. Brainstorm, sure. So 
So I don't even really care about a Gurmag Angler. So I'm not going to use this Tormod script. Bug, Bug has a hard time killing Kiki Jiki. They need specifically trophy. Nice. All right. Okay. Um, does that change anything? Yeah, Deluge would still suck. All right, I think I can cut a Reb and play Thorn. I don't like him because... Uh, I mean, I don't like Therapy because I, I honestly don't don't know what I'd name because I don't know their deck enough. You know, Therapy is kind of rough against decks that you don't understand very well. Um, <laughs> I still want to keep one. This seems fine to me. You cut the second rib. I think a lot of time they're gonna go brainstorm. They're gonna go land pass and try to brainstorm. That's good. And they're also playing force. So I could be relevant to resolve my important spells. If I don't have cavern, I think that's perfectly valid. No creep is playing snap. I'd be surprised if there wasn't snap in that pile. And try this. I mean, he just forced my thing. This hand's weird, but I'll keep it. it he just played Force game two. People don't sign out Force versus Goblins. They just don't. <laughs> They should, but they don't. Because they're too concerned about turn one either vial. Got him. Yep. Cannon, same thing. So my opponent just molded a six and uh, forced my Tormod script, and then I played another one. How sick is that? Excuse me? Oh, it's... <laughs> okay. I'd rate this interaction D plus. Agreed. Next turn, we wasteland or blue source. Didn't shuffle. Yep, world gorger combo. We played against this like two weeks ago. Maybe I wasteland their green source. Yeah, that's probably good. Blue. And I think I just hold up this reb. Maybe I'll play the other vial. Nah. Might just really set them off balance if they try to cantrip this turn. Oh, they have an angler. I maybe should have seen that coming. So, Relic of Regenitus would have been nice. Ooh, that's a good draw. They have basic forest in their deck. How wild is that? Please play a cantrip. That sucks. That really sucks. Man, if I had popped that Tormod script, we should have. All right, we're gonna we're gonna ring leader here.
Big money. Nice. <laughs> Tomb was a slow dark ritual to play angler. <laughs> That's funny. That is funny and true. Are they dead next turn? Not anymore. Okay. Land? Nice. Um... Nice basic forest. And now they can't attack. Um, let's just get this angler off the board. Um, let's play War Marshal first. Herberg plus him. That'd be pretty brutal. I feel comfortable swinging with everything because... Like, I'm not, hit, I'm not dead on the crackback. They're gonna, they're gonna have to block the pile driver. Now if they draw a cantrip, or drop, draw a blue source, we blast their cantrip. Yeah. Concede. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> nice. So we played against this. We we beat them on a multiplied last time. Four one is good, but I think we can do better. If we hadn't run into fucking ice station zebra, worst thing ever. Abomination in magic form. How close am I to entering that? Oh, I have enough uh, points for that. Uh, for that um, event. How do we change our main deck and sideboard to be Ice Station Zebra? Uh, probably the Ley Line of the Void. That's, that's probably how we do it. Uh, let's open some chests. We got we got some subs today. The Sunday Challenge Stream. Uh, I really don't like playing on Sunday. Uh, I don't know. I might stream a challenge one day, but not this weekend at least. I'm going home this weekend anyway. Ooh. Cool. Bitey. Still not convinced to play Kiki. Yeah, I mean, it's a it's a decision. <laughs> We're in Avatar. Ayumi, the last visitor. Legendary island island walk seven three. <laughs> land land walk in general. Ooh, hello. Hello. 125 play points. It's a league and a chest. I will take it. Whoa. Whoa. Is this uh worth anything? That lily is really cool. Was it Luana untouched? It's like 
two tickets. Is this the right one? I think it is. That's some really nice art. Oh, you got a bolus in the background. That's really cool. And a worm. All right, we're running hot. I'm gonna keep opening because I'm addicted. 25 play points. Value, Vona. This card's ridiculous in draft. Uh, okay, that one's kind of a whiff. <laughs> that was a whiff. Ooh, 25 points, Brawl, Brawl. I doubt that's worth anything. Hey, it's almost a ticket. That's not bad. Yeah, I, I can imagine. Time warp. Let's do the time warp again. Nice. One ticket. Spellbreaker behemoth. Time warper will go up. What makes you say that? Wow, we got we got exactly 500 play points. And a new avatar. I don't think this is as good as Yargol or Niv Mizzet though, or Shark to Crab. That was a pretty quick league. Um, this is really nice. So what does this card actually do? Four mana, four loyalty, plus one for the top three. If cards are left into your graveyard, one is a zombie. They lose two, you gain two. My sex, my sex. Cast zombie cards in your graveyard, lose three. That's pretty, that's a pretty cool design. I really need a goblin avatar. I do. I do, don't I? So what, what makes you say, um, Pokusin, what makes you think uh, Time Warp will go up? Is there something in Modern? It's like the Taking Turns deck a thing or something? I wonder, is that Demonic Tutor worth anything? I don't think I doubt it. Mm -hmm. Wrong one. Three, three tickets? I think so. That's three tickets. Dees. Just trust me, not a joke. Hmm. I want some I want some more info on that. Got a I mean I won't sell it, sure, but I am curious. Are you gonna like break the meta with a time warp deck? <laughs> Pictures aren't loading. Makes it hard to look for things to sell. There's Brawl. God, I have so much like random, so much random shit in this binder. Some of these cards are cool though, but like Death Pits of Wrath. There's a cool Goblin Avatar Emoto. Uh, I guess I'll just have to wait and see until I get it. Um, and the life goes on, and the life goes on, goes on, and the heat goes on. I oh I saw I saw there it is Bona. Um, I went to a concert this past weekend. I saw Angelique Kidjo performing "Remain in Light." And it was fucking awesome. Just such a fantastic performer. Really great music. Would highly recommend looking that album up. She has a cover of the Talking Heads album. Oh, I can check filters. I'm just looking for cards to sell, actually, right, right at the moment. I will check the thing you're talking about, though. Um, bu -bu 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 -du 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 -du. Anything else to sell? 
I need to get myself a, uh, the correct CG and commander if I'm going to play it, right? <clears throat> Johnny's last stand, yep. Sure open to that one. Guild gates. Um, I wish there was like a way to search by new. Just got a T-Rex for myself. Just so great, super great band from the late 60s to early 70s. I don't really like that kind of music. I'll, I'll take a look at that. Sounds, it's probably something I'd be into. I like a lot of 70s music. Um, all right, that's everything. So here, sort, or quantity zero. Oh God, that's a lot of things. This is how I'm gonna have to do it. This seems inefficient. Oh, maybe they're all at the bottom. You can buy special tokens? Really? What's the point? I don't I don't understand. Because the cards generate the tokens. There's a lot of them. Just like all the tokens ever. Evidently. Click on avatar, check an avatar on the left. Oh, derp. Thank you. It's looking for a sick goblin. Mm. Just seen a lot of planeswalkers. I always think this guy, this uh, Burmaz, looks like um, fucking Ornstein from Dark Souls. Uh, I passed Squee. For shame. Um, the this Cranko. I've seen this guy before. That's a pretty good one. Yeah, I like the Cranko. Um, are there any other goblins? The much, much wanted, much coveted Mumir Big. For that sick Mumir basic format. I never like realized who all these characters were. There's Red Cap. Um, I whenever I see this, it looks like Ninja Turtle to me. Welder. Mm. Where's Goblin Welder? Oh, right there. That was alright. This one's really cool. Ashling. Chrono Tog. Bring back Togs. Bring back Atogs as principal magic characters. And some of these I've never seen before. Like, I've never seen anyone with, with this one or Ooh, Ink Eyes. They just got more chief. Hey Saber. You just missed a pretty pretty riveting league. We went 4-1. We be, we we defeated Solnox, the Word of Command best one. Ah! Just two eyes. Solnox, the uh, destroyer of goblins. Oh, you played your first paper tournament and led goblins to victory? Very nice. Very nice. Proud of you. Alright. No, I don't want everything ever. So 
assault dogs. <laughs> Rude, Callum. Most people were liking to produce goblins before. That's what happens. People, people, there's two things, there's two reactions you get to goblins. One, I've never played against this before. You usually win those games. And then two, people who've played a while and they all root for goblins because goblins are the fucking best. Like, my opponents actively root for me all the time. Yeah, we've got, we've got, uh, 35 points for the playoff if we want to do it. I mean, why not, right? And exactly, we got a very... This is a very aesthetically pleasing setup right here. We got 35 tickets, 35 play points, exactly 500. <laughs> that is also the, yes, uh, Colin has the correct third reaction. I've never lost to goblins, gets crushed. I ran into a guy who's playing mono red stompy in the practice room and he was like, I've never lost to goblins before. I'm like, are you sure? Are you sure about that? Are you sure about that? <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> I, I feel like if you pick up Miracles, you have to hear that Goblins is like your worst matchup ever. Grixis Control, I can, I can totally imagine people saying that. Because um, the vast majority of Grixis Control builds crush the vast majority of goblins builds those players tr traded two bobs for lackey people just think creature dex loses to terminus yeah that is true that is true i think goblins and uh, forces the most embarrassing terminuses in the entire format which is great that's like i think that's like the most maybe the most enjoyable parts about goblins is uh or part about goblins is when uh your board get gets wrathed, and then you kill them next turn with creatures. <laughs> it's like, oh, wipe your board of six creatures. Like, okay, untap, kill you. <laughs> and you're at like 10. Relic, yeah, Relic is not... Relic doesn't do its job anymore. Uh, Relic is my maybe my favorite cyborg card, and I think it's too slow. Um, that's why I'm playing these Tormod scripts and these surgicals. If I was to play a fifth grade paid piece, I'd probably play one relic. I've learned maybe four years ago that you have to try and swords the ringleaders because terminating them is just so bad. That's like probably true. Um, that is probably true, to be honest, Colin. Um, I've even gone out of my way to, like, active... Since I have Stronghold in my deck, I sometimes go out of my way to kill my own... I don't go really out of my way, but sometimes I will uh, kill my own ringleaders to put them in the yard or kill my own matrons. Like if they plow if they plow the ringleader and I have a Skirk Prospector in play, um, I'll definitely sack it. Two life doesn't matter. Kinesis is a really messed up card. Kinesis is ridiculous. In in like every in fair matchups, it's often gonna be better than Force of Will. Cause it's not gonna be two for one in yourself. It's gonna be like either a two for two or a three for two for your opponent, and you don't have to like do it at a specific time. Yeah. Favor little fishy, fucking true name bullshit. Where's sharpshooter? Uh, sharpshooter is in the in the pile of these cards because sharpshooter is not playable right now. <laughs> it is it is not a playable magic card at the moment. I think. Play skull crack. Yeah, I know Marcel is doing that, which is hilarious. Some people some people are trying. Uh, what's it called? Flaring pain, I think. Yeah, this thing. Oh, thank you, Saber. I really appreciate that. So kind. Um, oh god, don't give me every card ever. Uh, I don't know. The if I desperately need to kill a Trinian Nemesis, I play a uh, Minister of Pain because then I can kill multiples, and you don't have to like do it on a weird timing. Yeah, and from my misplays. I do make those fairly often. Uh, 
Schwartrenoster. Uh, thank you for the follow. I, th the, I think the most painful misplay I made. Um, was where I gotta find it. Oh, I this screenshot makes me laugh every time. <laughs> Creator makers, what makes goblins playable again? Uh, goblins felt decent after the death right ban and right when they released trash master because i just played two trash masters main deck and it just like obliterated people uh pretty frequently but tra i mean crater makers like a big deal it trims up a lot of matchups um and fucking combo decks am i right um oh yeah i beat i, I beat uh rip field because <laughs> they, they didn't have any win conditions left in their deck that was pretty funny I ringleader too aggressively? What do you mean by that? Do I just go, do you mean I go for ringleader too often? Uh, oh yeah, look, look, look at this sick total war victory. Look, look at these Saurus. I don't know if this means anything to anybody in chat. I was outnumbered almost nine to one. <gasps> this is a, such a ridiculous battle. You didn't draw enough cards. Yeah, that's 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 the real statement. There's no such thing as ring leader, ring leadering too aggressively. It's not drawing enough cards off ring leader. Uh oh, I know what game you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, I I do think that might have been a mistake. Um, so I'm playing Lizardmen, and I got attacked by like five Tomb Kings armies, and. Uh, I had 1,200 soldiers, and they had over 9,000. Something, something over 9,000. And I managed to hold them off with these ridiculous Blessed Saurus. It was great. Stegadons. Oh my god, that was such a ridiculous battle. Uh, I am looking for an actual specific screenshot, though. Uh... This this was the, the kiki-jiki nonsense that I pulled off. It was so that my board was Warchief Kiki, end step, copy Warchief, bounce Kiki, replay it through Vile, copy again, untap, or and also Stronghold back Pile Driver, cast Pile Driver, copy it, bounce Kiki, replay it, copy it, and it would have attacked for 45. Wino Settler, I, I just never, I just can't, I just can't justify playing a four mana one one. I just can't do it. Four mana one one that doesn't actually impact the board. Oh, I've got a foil Kiki. I actually want to pick it out because it's pretty sweet. Well, my binder is actually right next to me. <laughs> yeah, but like, Kiki does things. I feel like Settler doesn't. Unless unless you're going, I see Settler and Winstigator versions because if you have a Matron in hand, you can always get it. Here's my Kiki. This is this is the binder of. All the goblins and I want to play ever. Picked up a goblin wizard. <laughs> like a like a real beaten up goblin wizard for some reason. Just in case, you know. The binder fame, yeah. I got I got my I've got all my mismatching blood moons. Whenever I play those, we've got <laughs> we've got. German, German 8th edition, Blutmund, <laughs> which is my, just my favorite, Blutmund, alle nicht Standerlander, Standardlander, <laughs> nicht Standerlander, <laughs> sind Gebrige, I don't know how to pronounce German actually, normal 8th edition Blood Moon, and then a Modern Masters English Blood Moon. 
because you gotta mismatch your blood moons or else you're not playing blood moon right <laughs> awesome to hear you read german are you a german freak Months ago, I was playing Marcel to crush me. It doesn't play to kill me. Turn three. Oh, Austria, nice. Uh, turn one, he turned two poor, but instead, let her turn three. Matrix. Yeah, do you should try to read Russian cards? Oh, god, I, I can, I can like almost read the Russian alphabet because uh, of Greek, and it's like kind of similar. Um, So I can figure out some of the letters, but I know there are some that are different, but they look the same. I've never been to Austria or Germany. Um, I've been to the Czech Republic a couple times. Got these goblin recruiters, hashtag unbanned goblin recruiter, just waiting for the day. It's gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> Um, the only thing I really uh, I'll confess the only thing I really know about Austria is that there is uh, there's this astoundingly good brass ensemble called Minozel Brass uh, from Austria and they are amazing like the best brass players I have ever heard um, I was I was a trumpet player for years and I, I saw them in concert and they were just, just blew my mind play Prague MKN uh no um I just go to visit Prague sometimes because my brother lives there um do all Austrian so it's it's Austrians and Londoners are the are the prime goblins community <laughs> Red, white, red. That was more goblin. I'm, I'm, I'm also tilted by the fact that I have three ley lines of the void, and not four. And I'm not buying a fourth when they're fifty dollars. And I also like never get to play in paper, so these may as well not exist. <laughs> Fucking tilt. Um, do I have any other sweet goblin cards in my binder? Oh, I got these. These aren't goblins, but you guys probably appreciate these. Uh, I got um, these promo Spellstar sprites signed at the same, at the big last paper event I played at, uh, Chris Muller. Uh, and he signed my sprites and he signed my, uh, the From the Vault lackeys that I have. He's a very nice guy. I think he's, I think that's all. Um, Mm, any other sweet goblin stuff I've got? I don't think so. Uh, I've got I've got my page of basic mountains that I use, or that I, or that I'm not currently using. Got the my my betas, nice foil betas, or not foil betas. What am I saying? These are the foils. I I these are like my. One of my favorite island or favorite mountains, the seventh edition. Let's see when let's get that lined up. These. I really like these mountains. Onslaught is also a very good call. So I have five beta mountains, which is enough if I'm playing black red, but not if I'm playing mono red. You once bought two hundred beta basics. I hope oh, long ago, yeah. Now, now that's like very smart uh, investment <laughs> for magic cards, right? I uh, I got my betas when they were like five bucks, and now they're like twenty, which is ridiculous. Uh, foil onslaught mountains, yeah. So in theme, yeah, I got the mountains I'm using right now are these. The uh, let's get the glare off that. Uh, 
Yeah, the arena, right? Yeah, arena is such a great foil. I've got the arena mock fanatic as well. Or boy. I might have to get a second one from playing two. No, I don't have the, the whole deck foiled. Um, I... I did... I bought a set of lackeys, and then... Uh, they got mailed to the wrong... They got mailed to my parents' house, and they either didn't get there, or they actually th threw them out. They accidentally threw them out. Uh, so that fucking sucked. But I'm not buying more until... Uh, I want them to reprint this art in the non-FTV frame. Or, like, foiling. I'd rather have, like, a pack foil style. Um, but these are signed. I, I, these, I think these look fine. Um, I don't have foil matrons, because fuck that. <laughs> not foil caverns. Not foil war chiefs. Not foil... Uh, I like... I like the... I like Chris Muller's art a lot. Uh, and I thought the old lackey art. Well, the old lackey art's like iconic, but it's not. I don't really like it that much. We've got foil war marshals, crater makers, not ports, not chain whirlers. I do have old fetches uh, for the most part. I've got signed onslaught fetches. Um, I do foil ringleaders, foil prospector. I have one masterpiece vial in the rest of dark steel. So I've got, <laughs> it probably tilts my opponents just as much as it tilts me, but I'm not buying more masterpieces. Yeah, how, how, how's this, how's this to, to look at? Because <laughs> I really, I really like this. Um, but I traded for it. I didn't actually buy it. Uh, are foil war chiefs cheap? I feel like they're not. I, I wish I had foil jump palms. Some people get tilted by it. I don't really. I've got a signed siege gang. I like I, every time I draft a set that has siege gang commander in it. I inevitably open siege gang. <laughs> Signed Unlimited Basics and Stone Blade. That's pretty nice. Yeah, so like half the deck is foil, I'd say. Um, and given that I literally never get to play paper, I'm not really interested in foiling it out more. Um, I would like to get the, the complete set of lackeys, but I'm going to wait for a new type of printing for that. It's funny, I feel like I have more viewers here now when I'm just chatting than what if I'm just... Uh, What was the video where you redid the mono list? Oh, like a mono red list? Um, when was the last time I played a mono red list? It was a while ago. Here. I don't think it went super well. But, oh, but this is when... Oh, yeah, this, this was... Um, <laughs> the five combo deck league. I played eight matches. So how did how did that go? Well, I beat. I won. I won four. Last. Right. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's nine. So I must have scrubbed out of one. So this one was 4-1, and then I was lost, lost, win, loss, yeah. So it's like a 4-1 and a 1-3. Sideboard versus front red, we can talk about that. I do have a mono red build right now. So, this is what mine last looked like, but it's not super up to date. Yeah, I like I like Old Border the most by far. I grew up playing Old Border and I really like it. Uh Okay, so how would I update this? Play the second fanatic. 
if I play a second Whirler, probably don't need three Marshals, probably play two Grenzos. Um, oh, wow. That's nice, Callum. That is nice. I do have German wastelands. I've uh, I have mixed language. I have two Japanese ports, one German port, one English port, and then but they're all masks. And then I have one. Uh, I have two 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 German Tempest wastelands. Uh, I know that Einhode, I think is what it is. Where is it? I got some because I was getting stuff from MKM when I was ordering a lot of these. Um, German Badlands, that's kind of cool. I think I have either Spanish or Italian Taiga. Oh, Desolation is what? Desolation, that's very cool. Um, there's Wasteland, there's the ports. Yeah. Yeah, so these are the two German wastelands. I don't know if you guys can read that. And then Japanese ports. I was trying to buy ports right when port was like $120. It's ridiculous. Um, all right, so mono red stuff. Um, so when you're mono red, you need, since you're not, if you're not playing Cabal Therapies, you need like more thorn type effects. You own no ports. Oh, sounds like a you problem. <laughs> ports like cheap now. That's the once they reprinted it, right? Um... Yeah, Fnatic, Fnatic is like MVP in so many matchups. Um, I've gone up. I've got gone up on Fnatic numbers. I was just playing one, and now it's just on two. And I've just really liked them. They're so good. Um, yeah, so Mono Red, probably playing. Probably best off playing either surgical. Like I think surgical. You have to play. You have to play either surgical or leyline. You, you can't play neither of those cards. Just not a thing. Um. So here I've got four turn one grave hate cards along with a Caracas for reanimator. You know. Goblib, I, I respect that choice. I respect that choice. Um, with Monored, so the, what, what Monored allows you to do is you can play, uh, I think you can play a little bit higher on the curve because you're not getting wastelanded as much. Um, so I can I can play two finishers. So I've got one siege, one siege game, one Krenko. I've also got a Gale. I've also got an Ancient Tomb in here. An Ancient Tomb has been really, really good. Uh, if you're not on Black Splash, uh, Ancient Tomb is... Mm, very good. Uh, it's even not bad in black, but uh, I like have a few too many utility lands I want to play. Um, okay. Three surgical, three relic, two pot, three pyro, two needles. Okay. I would play unless your meta is people who just love Knight of the Reliquary and Tarmogoyf. I would play two Tormod's Crypts over two of those relics. Um, what's the rest of your sideboard, Saber? Relic's just too slow for a lot of matchups. Yeah, Tormods also beats Chancellor. Tormods. Tormods lets you be like so proactive you get like turn one lackey 
from my script. There's a lot of combo decks that will struggle against that combination. Sharpshooter, Pyroblast, Chain Rover, Price of Progress. Um, I personally just don't think that Sharpshooter is playable, especially in the sideboard. If you're going to play it, I'd play it in the main because you get to play, you get to get, have it in game one uh, before uh, people bring in all their minus one, minus one effects. Because that's what makes Sharpshooter bad, is that every single deck is packing minus one, minus one effects or one damage effects. So Delver decks are playing Electricery. Control's playing Liliana, Marsh Casualties, Toxic Deluge, all those cards. Um, Maverick's playing Ze Zealous Persecution. Uh, D&T is playing fucking Orzhov Pontiff sometimes. Um, stuff like that. I, I just I just don't think Sharpshooter is a playable card right now. Sharpshooter gives you outs to empty the Warrens, shows Chain Roller. And it doesn't, you know... If they're not going for Empty the Warrens and you need pressure, it doesn't sit and do nothing. You know, Chain Whirler plus Pile Driver is six damage a turn. Yeah, game one, yeah. But again, so it's Chain Whirler. I just, I just think double Chain Whirler in the main is like just absurdly good. Um, Sharpshooter is like one of my favorite cards. Like, don't get me wrong. I love Goblin Sharpshooter. Uh, yeah, four Wastelands for sure. Uh, but I just don't think it's, it's a reasonable card right now. It's just too slow. If you're playing like a ton of haste lords, it's 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 more reasonable. You know, if you're playing like four war chiefs, four war chiefs and a chieftain. Uh, Grenzo's fucking what a baller. So Grenzo is like particularly good in mono red builds because he gives you some interaction against combo that you otherwise just don't have whatsoever. Um, and he wins you some some random ass games that you don't deserve to win. <laughs> and it fits the curve, right? It's a two mana two two, and Goblins doesn't have that many of them. No, we have Crater Maker now, so that's nice. Um, yeah, so if I was going to cut two cards, I'd probably, uh, Mantic Sting Scourger sucks. Um, not sure. I'll think about this. Sting Scourger sucks. <laughs> I played in the sideboard, but I just, I, it's just so not worth it main deck. Um, like if Sting Scourge is your only interaction with the fatties, it's not going to be enough. It's only going to be enough if you have a critical mass. Yeah, so good against sneak attack, right? Really good against the card sneak attack. <laughs> yeah, depths if you have a vial on two specifically a, a number that you don't want it to be on you, like if you just sit your vial on two most of the time you're probably losing to yourself <laughs> all right so uh mono red so you need i would either play two thorns and then a bunch of shit like this spyglass is like kind of eh. um or play four ley lines and then like three chalices uh, with the ancient tomb, that's what I'd recommend. The only problem, the only reason I don't like Chalice is that it fucks with my plan of Red Elemental Blast. I really like Red Elemental Blast, and it does not really work well with Chalice of the Void. Um, so those are my thoughts. Anyway, I'm gonna close up for now. Thank you for watching. Oh, I, I wanted to find that one screenshot. Let me look for that really quick. Uh, oh yeah, I ran into this. What the hell does this look like to you guys? Mox Diamond Factory Standstill. Um, this one I broke Moto with Cranko. Look at this board. Look at this board. Moat, Omniscience, two Nickel Boluses in play, and I won. Because <laughs> I, I had a needle on one of the Nickel Boluses, and they just got this one into play. It was the best. Like, actually the best. <laughs> Just gotta soak this one in. And I killed them with Sharpshooter card I do like. Sharpshooter untaps via multiple Trash Master activations on my own Pithing Needle. I just have to hold, uh, hold priority. 
It was great. Um, this was styling on Reanimator with Grenzo. Pro Prospector, Dark Ritual, Entomb. Oh man, it was great. It was so great. Um, cast reanimate on my own matron. What am I looking for? Fucking sneak and show sided in ley line of the void against me. That was dumb. Uh, I can't find it. Oh yeah, here it is. All right, so the plan here was look at look look how good this minister's of, minister of pain is gonna be. Look at it. I'm gonna kill his true name. Lackey's gonna eat this this stoneforge. The castman doesn't click when I activate my vial. Yeah. So if I was really you know tuned in to the game, I should have ported them. I should have ported them first, then gone to combat. Then they put in Vendillion Click, and then I kill the Click True Name and the Stoneforge. But I didn't, and I was the saddest person. I, I was so mad. So, yeah. All right. I guess you all see streaming Legacy. Had a good time today. This was a good stream. We had a nice four-one. Oh, Arkin streaming. Uh, let's bring Grixis control. All right, we're gonna send you send you over to Arkin. Have a good time, and thank you all for watching. <laughs>